Hello my wonderful viewers, this is your pop star champ here, and I'm going to predict what Nintendo has in store for 2019. And we have a lot of games that we already know of from all the way back in 2017 that might drop this year. So first we'll start off with what we already know of, or can be almost certain will come up this year. Then I'll dive into more unknown territory and my wilder guesses. Starting with the 3DS, I'm sure we'll get a couple more ports and remasters throughout the year, like the Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. But since these games are mostly just there to help keep the platform alive, and it's not really getting any, like, big new games, there's really not much to discuss about it, so let's move on to the Switch. Now for the March Direct, since there apparently seems to not be a January Direct, we're going to see some Luigi's Mansion 3 gameplay, and probably our story is soon up so we know what the plot of that game is. A snippet of Animal Crossing footage, but then they'll see the rest of what they want to show for E3. Some Fire Emblem 3 Houses gameplay, some indie titles sprinkled in, and the Yoshi's Crafted Roblox out, which will probably show us some amiibo functionality. Then for something completely new, I think we'll probably see another new Mario spin-off entry, which I'm hoping is either Mario Strikers or Paper Mario, and in Paper Mario's case, I'm hoping it is more in the style of the first two games, kind of like how Super Mario Party is more like the earlier Mario Party games and how they seem to be well received for that reason. But what I'm expecting is either Mario Kart 9, or a huge surge of Mario Kart 8 DLC to make that more of a platform than just another entry in the series. But I'm going to expect this to probably more of a Mario Kart 9. But I could also see it being Mario Baseball, one of those two. And with all those hypothetical announcements packed into one direct like that, I doubt we'll see anything on Bayonetta 3 or Metroid Prime 4. No Pokemon Gen 8 announcement either, since that usually has its own time to announce whether or not there's much to announce in that direct or not, so... It will likely be that we'll see Pokemon Gen 8 announced either sometime before or after the March Direct. Then between the March Direct and E3, we'll get Fire Emblem 3 Houses and Yoshi released, but not much else other than that. But once we get up to E3, Luigi's Mansion, Animal Crossing, and Pokemon will be talked about more and given general release months. Some new games will be announced in the middle, and we'll get full showings of Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4. With Metroid Prime 4 hopefully being the star of the show like Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey were in the previous years. Then, after E3, I can see Animal Crossing releasing sometime in the summer, but if not, it will reappear in the September Direct, which will also confirm the release dates for all the other games we know of, along with announcing a couple of new games, which I'll get back to in a minute. Then, barring any delays, I can see Animal Crossing appearing in September, Luigi's Mansion coming in October, and Pokemon in November. Then for Metroid and Bayonetta, I could see one of them ending the year in December, and then the other one starting the year in January, with my money being on Metroid being for December, since I'm guessing that's going to be the big ticket item of E3, so it makes sense to release that same year, and then have Bayonetta follow up to start the next year strong. Now moving on to stuff that could pop up at any point in the year, we'll start off with DLC. And I can see us getting some DLC for Super Mario Party, which includes some new boards and new mini games to help get interest in that game again, like they did with Mario Tennis Aces. And I can also see us getting some more Mario Tennis Aces DLC, which is pretty much the same as what they've been doing, just adding new modes to play online. Then we'll get Smash Ultimate Character reveals throughout the year, which I'll also get more into specific later. And next, we'll move on to ports. First, as a general note, I think this year will finally start being the year where we see where multi-platform games start coming to every single console at the same time, rather than the Switch getting them afterwards, which is what I'm hoping for. But otherwise, I think we'll see a Persona 5 port if Joker being Smash really does prove that. Then we might see Mario Maker Switch, Skyward Sword Switch, and possibly a Pikmin 3 port to the Switch. And the Pikmin 3 port leads into one of my two new game announcement predictions, being that I think we might see a Pikmin 4 at some point in the year. But if it does get revealed, it probably will be a to-be-announced for 2020 title since this year is kind of packed enough as it is already. Then my second new game announcement prediction, and also my final normal prediction before I get into the crazy stuff. I think we could see a new Kirby game announced for this year, as there's been rumors that it might happen. And it'll likely be a spin-off in this case, and it could possibly capitalize on Star Allies bringing back all the old characters throughout the series. And now to end off, I'm gonna list off my completely random predictions. Starting out small, I think we could get some Switch OS updates that adds themes and optional theme music to the home menu for those who want that. Then, we could get a Super Mario Odyssey sequel announced in the September Direct and build up even more hype for 2020. 
Then, I'm hoping that we see some signs that the Nintendo Switch Online service improves by adding SNES titles sometime down the road, like by the time that the year, uh, subscription service is like a year old at this point in September. Then, finally, for the Smash DLC, Dream one of the directs that they had this year, since I'm sure every single one will have at least one new Smash DLC character reveal. I'm going to predict that Sora from Kingdom Hearts will get in, and it will be tied in with how they'll have a Kingdom Hearts 3 port and Kingdom Hearts Collections port to the Nintendo Switch. And that's what I predict we'll see from Nintendo in 2019. Does it all sound plausible? What do you think will or won't happen? Leave a comment discussing your thoughts as well as what you hope to see and think we will see from Nintendo this year. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'm warping out.